I entitled this video Aerial Toll Houses. And for my sources of information, I relied on two. One of them is this book here, The Soul After Death by Father Seraphim Rose and OrthodoxWiki.org. I need to be forthcoming before I start this video. One, I'm not even sure that I believe in toll houses. Maybe they shouldn't be taken literally. Or maybe they are real and they should be taken literally. Maybe I won't even know until after I die. Two, I have a fascination with this topic. I am intrigued by aerial toll houses. And three, I'm not an Orthodox Christian. So my beliefs are different in some ways than what I'm going to be talking about. But with that being said, it doesn't mean that I am saying that the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church is wrong. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that I am not an Orthodox Christian. So according to the Eastern Orthodox Christian Church, when a person dies, the person's soul leaves their body and is guided by angels to heaven. Along the way, the soul must pass through various aerial realms that are guarded by demons. And Father Seraphim Rose says that the aerial toll houses are places which the demons inhabit in this fallen world and the place where the newly departing souls of men or women encounter them in the air. This is a quote from Bishop Ignatius Bryanchaninov. He states that, For the testing of souls as they pass through the spaces of the air, there have been established by the dark powers separate judgment places and guards in a remarkable order. In the layers of the under heaven, from the earth to heaven itself, stand guarding legions of fallen spirits. Each division is in charge of a special form of sin and tests the soul in it when the soul reaches this division. The souls are tested for different sins within each of the 20 toll houses. If the person being judged has not repented of his or her sins and doesn't have the right amount of good deeds or prayers from living people to pay for them, then the demons take the person into Hades to await final judgment. So the Orthodox Church does believe that praying for the dead is beneficial for that person. It could maybe change the course of that person's eternity. The most detailed version of the toll houses comes from a vision of Gregory of Thrace. He had this vision in the 10th century. This vision recounts the toll houses in the following order. Now, from this point on in the video, I'm going to go through all 20 toll houses. At the first toll house, your soul is interrogated for the bad words you spoke while on earth. This includes dirty talk, insults, or even making fun of somebody. The second toll house concerns lies. These lies include broken promises to God as well. The third toll house concerns slander, like judging, mocking, even laughing at people. The fourth toll house is gluttony, like overeating, alcoholism. I, I suppose obesity is included in this. The fifth toll house is about laziness. This also means neglecting God, too, like failing to go to church or reading your Bible. The sixth toll house is concerned with theft, you know, like robbery, stealing, and so forth. The seventh toll house deals with covetousness. 
This is for people who love money and material possessions and who didn't give to the poor or needy. The eighth toll house is usury. This is the practice of making unethical or immoral monetary loans that unfairly enrich the lender, like loan sharks. They do this. And so do those uh, loan places that are on like every corner where they're, uh, you know, you take out a loan for $100 and you pay back 1000 I believe that that should be included. The ninth toll house concerns injustice. Um, this is accepting bribes, being dishonest in business, and so forth. The tenth toll house is envy. Uh, this is a reaction to somebody having more than yourself and you wanting that. The eleventh toll house is about pride, being vain, boastful, and so forth. The twelfth toll house is concerned with anger and rage, like losing control and striking someone, you know, out of that rage that you feel. The thirteenth toll house is concerned with evil. Someone who holds a grudge has hatred in his heart. This is part of that as well. The 14th toll house involves murder. Even wounding someone is a form of murder in this toll house. The 15th toll house is about the use of magic, such as uh, using Ouija boards or other forms of magic that is uh, occultic. The 16th toll house concerns lust. This is uh, having unclean thoughts towards the opposite or same sex. The 17th toll house concerns adultery, you know, like cheating on your spouse. The 18th toll house is about sodomy, like homosexual acts, bestiality, masturbation is included. The 19th toll house concerns itself with heresy. This is rejecting the orthodox faith or wrongfully interpreting the text. The 20th toll house is the house of unmercifulness, like failing to show mercy on people. Not all members of the orthodox church consider toll houses to be real some even call it a false doctrine. Uh, some even say it's a form of Gnosticism. But ultimately, God is the judge. So demons can accuse or show a record of our sins, but that's all they can do. And by repenting to God, to saying, please forgive me for my sins, you will achieve salvation. Thank you for watching. Bye.